Next Stop Rio is proudly brought to you by ANZ and Sky Next. Rio de Janeiro is one of the most iconic cities on the planet. Famous for its breathtaking scenery, laid-back beach culture and beat of the samba, Rio will play host to the 31st Olympiad. Late last year, Sky Next athletes Glasgow boxing gold medalist David Nika and rowing world champion Emma Twigg were lucky enough to visit this incredible city and soak it all in. For these Olympic hopefuls, their next goal is to wear the silver fern at Rio 2016. Goa that is to host the rowing for the 2016 Rio Olympics. This lake is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning and I'm so excited to be here. It's potentially the place where rowing New Zealand is going to win a lot of medals next year. I'm heading over to the rowing club, Vasco da Gama, where we're going to check it out, go for a little bit of a row, but the challenge is going to be getting across this road and negotiating all of these cars. It is chaos. Named after the Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama, the rowing club was founded 118 years ago in 1898, with the football side of Vasco beginning in 1915. Although the football team is the better known, with some 20 million supporters, the organisation boasts rowing, football, swimming and a basketball side. After a tour of the facilities and being presented with a Vasco singlet, it was time for Emma to take fellow nexty David Nika out on the water. So you ready to give this rowing thing a go, David? Oh, I think I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Let's do it. They've given us a boat, so you're down the end, I'm down the end. Sweet. We'll head over. Awesome. Let's do it. This makes me look pretty strong. <laughs> Feeling a bit nervous, David? Huh? Can you swim? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Not so well. Apparently the water's warm. Right, I hope go. so too. Be like hail. This is a little bit unusual having to take a boat down to the water on a pedestrian crossing, but kind of cool. Roll it down off your shoulder now. Yep, and then we'll just place it into the water. Got it. Sweet. Nice one. So are you a little bit nervous about this? Oh, uh, a little bit. I don't even know how to get in, in the boat, let alone roll it. <laughs> well, let's, let's um, take you over and do some technique before we get in the boat, and um, I'll teach you a few tricks of the trade, and right. then we can give it a go together. Awesome. This way. So you just take a seat here. Which way? <laughs> I don't even know which way I'm facing. So if you step over the oars, yep, and you sit your bum down here. Facing that way. Yep. So Whoa. this is just you just pretending that you're in the boat basically. Oh, so I'm not in the boat. So this is this is no, you're not in the boat. <laughs> if you sit at the back. We'll just so start, so at, start the at the beginning. Here. Yep, so the back is that way and the front is out here. Sweet. So if you sit at the back, put your legs straight goes down. Backwards. Back to front. Oh man. Hold on there. You have your thumbs on the end. Yeah. Um, so at the moment, the, see the blades are square on the water. Yeah. So what we call square is when the blade comes over like that. Yeah. Okay. So if you square your blades, that's when you're at the least stable. Yeah. The most yeah. stable you're going to be is when they're flat on the water like this. Okay. So you call that feathered. 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 So now just pull to you and then drop your hands down and out. Yep. Whoa. Left over right all the yep. time? Yep, yep, yep. So when you're rowing, the idea is to feather the blade As out. You come back. Yeah, just like oh, exactly right. like that. Natural. Totally good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, yeah, you, you finish here. And then you basically, the movement is to, to bring your, your hands away first and then break your knees. Oh, that was a goodie. Oh, no, I ruined it. So I think you're looking pretty good. I think we can progress to the boat now. 
All right. And um, fingers crossed we don't go for a swim. <laughs> Let's do Sweet it. Let's do it. So basically what I'm doing is holding my oars together. Yep. So you want to all the time keep your hand handles together. Yeah. Um, I put my foot on this this part in the middle here, yep. which is where it's most stable. So you have one boat, one foot outside, one inside, and you basically want to keep your pressure onto the pontoon, not onto the Got other it. side of the boat. And sit on the seat. Um, and then we'll put our shoes on when we get out there. But So I'll just hold, hold the boat steady. Sweet. And you do the same well, thing. But the important thing is to keep the pressure onto the pontoon so yep. we don't that way. And just pop hands, hand yep. down. Yeah, perfect. Oh, where's the seat? I lost my seat. Yeah, no, you're right. You just squeeze back a bit. Nice. Oh, sweet. Right. Let's go. So feet in the shoes? Yeah, let's go. Oh, feet in the shoes. Yep. So this is, this is escape. Exactly, is... that is eject. <laughs> right, there. That's eject. So I'm going to do most of the balancing. Sweet. And eject. we'll just talk you through, um, through the rowing. And... See how it goes. <laughs> so I'm kind of just going to half what we call half slide. Yeah. So using only half of the half the length. Half of the length, the full yeah. length of the yeah. slide. So just break your break your legs just a little bit. Yeah. All right, right back. Yeah. And again, it's like it's a it's a feeling of power through your legs. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Really good. So you think about pushing your legs down, doing not much with your arms, but you're pretty natural, really. That's pretty good for a, for a first time. Keep taking the collars out. How do you? So yeah, so you're you're at the moment you're pulling like that. So yeah. what you want to do is keep the pressure just... through through your thumb and into the the yeah. gate into the oar. So don't really worry about the arms. Yeah, too basically, much. like a really good rower does it very little with their arms yeah. and it's very relaxed. Oh, hey! Oh, <laughs> catching all these crabs. So just follow me and be really relaxed. Yep. You're making my rowing look really average, David. <laughs> How's the Lagoa compared to other other lakes you've you've competed in? I think it's right. scenically it is beautiful. Having Christ the Redeemer up there, being surrounded by these mountains, it's it's something that I certainly haven't experienced. Okay. Um, the water is a little bit a little bit rough and I think that that's something that we'll probably have to contend with when we're here. Yeah. But that's gonna separate some some really technical athletes from perhaps yeah. people that are just fit. So but first impressions are it's beautiful, pretty amazing. Sweet. So we're pretty much smack bang in the middle of the lake, aren't we? Yeah, I think this is roughly 500 metres gone. We've got Christ the Redeemer hanging out there up in the clouds and the finish line down that way, surrounded by these beautiful mountains. Be hard to, hard to stay focused, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's one advantage of having been here and seeing it all yeah, first, yeah. is just yeah. being, being comfortable and not just, you know, looking around at, at this beautiful scenery the whole, whole time. So, what are your first impressions of, of rowing? Uh, I think I'm... I think I'm wetter than I'm supposed to be, but um, other than that, no, this is this is good fun, and um, it's definitely something I can see myself doing just for fun. Yeah, you've um, you've picked it up really well. Not many people can just hop in a boat and take strokes like you have, so I'm actually pretty <laughs> chuffed with that. So yeah, we haven't, I'm we haven't been for a swim. Good work. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel like I have. I think I'm a little bit a little bit. I'm gonna say rusty, but I've never done it before, so I'm a bit. Um, Uneasy with these oars, they keep splashing me. Um, maybe it's the fish. Maybe it's the fish. Yeah, maybe. It's, we'll blame it on the fish. <laughs> yeah. No, this, this is this is awesome. And um, again, just the scenery is wicked. Should we take it in? Let's take it in, eh? Let's do it. Lead the way. I guess I'm leading, aren't I? Yeah, you're leading. You're the first over the line. That's right. Beat them at twig in a race. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! 